Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Motion Designer and in this video, we're gonna learn set extension using Photoshop and After Effects. Let's get started. All right, so here I have two footage. I'm gonna drag and drop this first one inside the new composition. And I'm gonna set this resolution, Control K, to Full HD, just for the sake of this tutorial, 1080. And I'm going to rename this main com. Okay. So hit OK. And I'm going to scale this down to fit the comp size. Control, Alt, and F to do that. And if you play it back now, you can see that you have a slow mo footage. So I don't want to be in slow mo. I want this to be in real time. So I'm going to go and right click on the footage and go to time time stretch and I'm going to set this to 50 and if I play it back now you can see it's kind of real time now okay so that's what I want so let's go, just go and set the work area set the time indicator here hit N on the keyboard and right click trim comp to work area so we're going to work with this timeline all right so once you are done with that you can see here you have some micro movement on the camera which is really not nice for this and i'm gonna stabilize this okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select this stabilized motion if you don't find this tracker you can go up to a window and you can just check this tracker all right so let's just go and select this stabilized motion and i'm gonna check this rotation as well because we have some a little bit of rotation on the camera movement all right so i'm gonna point this tracker somewhere here and the other one let's just move it up here and when we use this okay so that's fine and you can just hit on this analyze forward let's just click on that and let's just wait for a while while after effects is tracking this all right so almost there all right, so we're done with that and let's just go and edit target. I don't think we don't have to do anything here. Just hit OK and apply and OK. So collapse this. So if you just go and see the footage now, it has been stabilized. But the problem with that is you have some lines here. This is because the footage has been stabilized. So the quick fix for this is you can just pre-compose this control shift and C and let me call this stabilize okay move all attributes hit okay and inside this stabilized I'm gonna scale this up a little bit hold down shift and scale a little bit and if you play it back now that hides that. So once you have scaled the footage, I'm gonna pre-compose this again, Control Shift and C, and rename this footage, hit OK. All right, so we have the final footage here. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this, the other footage, which I got from YouTube. So this is the green screen 3D model, right? So we're gonna use this. So we're gonna use the third one, which is this. So maybe from here, I'm gonna mass trim that, and maybe I'm gonna use this, right? So drag and drop it inside the footage. Here, we have to reverse this. Right click, transform, and flip horizontal, and that way it comes from this. So I'm gonna use key light for this. Key light, and drop this okay so let's just keep that for now let's not focus too much on this king as of now let's just try to match this size okay so i'm going to scale it up around this one and let's just go and maybe the bus stops there maybe somewhere here and let me just push this footage so that it comes earlier all right so let's just see maybe all right so the timing is perfect now but the size of the bus and the 
and the main character seems not fine right now so look right there and maybe let me move this position and I'm gonna align these shadows with this horizontal line at the wall here something like this and yep so let's just put it there and let's just select the footage and let me let me just select this pen behind tool and I'm gonna move this anchor point to the right side right bottom and hit S and I'm gonna scale it down maybe 25 let's just see the size of move it up a little bit that's too small maybe, maybe somewhere around here yep I think we can just make it slightly smaller so all right maybe slightly smaller 45 something like that and you can just refine the position so that this horizontal line the walls align with the shadow of the bus okay so all right so let's put that for now and let's just go ahead and do some set extension to this. We're gonna use copy to clipboard from the FX console and we're gonna go to Photoshop, right? So let's just open Photoshop and I'm gonna set this to the same resolution like before, 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna create that and control V to paste it, okay? So we're gonna remove this background, delete this and let's just select this magic one tool click on the black delete it and just select this rectangle rectangular marquee tool and select on this and delete that all right so i'm going to use a generative fill for this uh, extension if you don't have that you can just manually you know clone stamp it i'll just show you real quick uh, let's just create a new layer and make sure you are at all layers and hold down alt to sample the pixel and you can just paint on it like this you can just paint forever and you know you can just fill the entire frame like this all right so i'm not going to use that so for this example i'm going to use a generative fill there or i think we have to go back to after effects i don't like the fact that the framing is at the bottom I want this horizontal line to be somewhere around here so that we have an even spacing on the top and on the bottom so let's just cancel this so I'm gonna just go and I'm gonna just go back to you know after fix so here maybe oops caps lock off and maybe I'm gonna re adjust this select both of this and maybe push it up somewhere around here so that we have an even spacing on the top and the bottom right so that way it looks much better all right so let's just repeat that again make sure your time indicator is set at the beginning of the frame i'm gonna set i'm gonna select this copy to clipboard and let's just go back to photoshop create a new canvas which is 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. Control V to paste it. And I'm gonna remove this by the magic one tool. Control D to deselect it. And I'm gonna remove this background. So I am going to use the generative fill to select this and just, just generate this. And let's wait for a while to generate while Photoshop is generating a image for this part right so it's gonna take a while and one thing to keep in mind is if you want high resolution images you can just select bit by bit part by part and that way you'll build the scene with the high resolution images all right so this is the image we have three variation I think I'm gonna stick with the first one all right so let's just select the bottom half the bottom part I mean 
and let's just generate it again all right so let's just put it there and we'll select this part and generate a fill generate All right, so here I have the set extension. I think I'm gonna go with this. So once you're happy with the set extension, I just also add a graffiti art on the walls here, somewhere here, like this. And yep, I'm gonna save this, Control S, and I'm gonna set this as set extension four. Okay, okay, and let's just go back to After Effects. So let's just go and import inside After Effects. Double click on this, go and select the set extension four, and make sure you are selecting this composition retain layer sizes and don't check this one. Do not check this, okay? Import and composition retain layer sizes, hit okay. And if you open this, you have the exact same thing, right? So. Let's just copy everything, Control C to copy, and let's just paste it here. And let's just extend it to the last. And just select all these, click on this to rearrange it. Maybe I'm gonna turn off this one. Let's just move this graffiti up. And if you play it back now, you can see that everything seems to align perfectly. And you can see the graffiti is on top of this character. So you'll have to do some rotoscoping on this. So I'll just turn off this graffiti for now. And let's just move this video playback. Let's rename this to bus on top of everything. Maybe on top of the graffiti. And you can just turn on the bus. And if you play it back now, you can see that it's very, very nice. And let's just turn on the graffiti now. And there you have it. You can just, if you don't want to rotoscope this, you can just move the graffiti above a little bit so that it does not intersect with the character somewhere here. Okay, so one more thing I also added was a uh, fork. Let's just create a new solid and let's just make this gray, hit OK. And let's just rename this fork one. And I'm gonna draw a box, double click on that. Mask, and let's just draw a mask. Some here, maybe extend this. And let's just set this blending mode to screen and hit F to feather out. I'm gonna feather the mask like this. You can see that just it just look nice like that. Maybe I'm gonna put this fork one just below the bus so that you have some fork there. I'm gonna duplicate this, control D move it on top of the bus. And I'm gonna maybe change the color to a darker one a little bit. And maybe just the, yeah, just the position somewhere here. And all right, that is looking great. So create a new adjustment layer and you can just add curves. Uh, let's just add curves, contrast, and I think we have to match the color of the bus with the rest of this, right? So if you look at the bus, you can see that the blue here and the blue denim here does not match perfectly, right? So we have to desaturate this a little bit. I'm gonna add a curves. Just do some color correction here. And maybe add a tint. And let's just match the color, something like that. 
or we can also add an adjustment layer adjustment layer and put it just above this graffiti and just add a curse and let's just darken the whole scene a little bit add some S curves something like this play back yes there are some white borders around this particles you can just refine that in the key light so this is not a super high resolution video because i downloaded this from youtube so there are some limitations to this particular footage so let's just try a little clean up here right so let's just clean up a little bit just increase the black to i don't know maybe 18 wipe down a little bit a little bit here and maybe shrink to a negative one and i think that is much cleaner but i think let's just set it back to zero and maybe i'm gonna reposition the bus down a little bit and maybe I will remove the contrast a little bit from here something like this and go to the adjustment layer here maybe the contrast here is too high it makes it not realistic a little bit something like this and if you play back now yep so that's how you create this kind of set extension and one more thing i can just change the graffiti blending mode to to darken that makes it a little realistic here okay i hope you learned something from this video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care